in order for people to like them, in order for people to accept them, in order for people to respect them. They'll do things that they know Allah does not like. Our Rasul Sallallahu said that whomsoever seeks to be pleasing to men and mankind at the displeasure of Allah, not only will Allah become displeased with you, He will make the people become displeased with you. In order for people to accept them, in order for people to like them, in order for people to respect them, they'll do things that they know Allah does not like. And we're all guilty of this, including me. We're guilty of playing the puppeteer in front of the people. Or they won't do things that they know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded them to do in front of the people so that the people will like them. This is what we do. This is our, one of our biggest guilts. Is that we do things in front of people so they like us. We shave off pieces of our deen in order for people to accept us. We don't want to look too extreme. We don't want to look too backwards. We don't want to look too crazy. You don't want to stick out. I don't want to stick out, man. This is what, you, the, the, what, what I've heard. I don't want to be sticking out so that I can become a target and people can look at me and say I'm crazy this is not, they'll say this is not the way to do dawah brother to look crazy you're extreme man running around with that big beard and a dress on all day long and I see you praying all in the in the airport and in the malls and doing all this crazy stuff man this is extreme, this is an extreme understanding this is 2010 man, that'll get you locked up you might but the point is, is who am I trying to please? The people? What can the people give me? What can they give me? What can you do for me? Nothing except maybe make dua for me. Because what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to happen to me is going to happen to me without you or with you. On the day of judgment, I can't come running to you and be like, yeah, you remember when I did all those things for you? Why don't you go tell Allah that I did them for you? That person is going to be like, man, you are out of your mind. Even shaitan on that day, even as shaitan on that day, when people will start blaming him and saying, shaitan made me do it, man. The devil made me do it. Shaitan will say, ah, oh, buddy. No, sir. All I did was call you. All I did was in your ear. You did it on your own. Therefore, today, I'm free of everything that you do. Allah will make sure that not only He's angry with you, but the people won't even like you. He won't give you dignity, and He will not allow the people to dignify you. Allah has made a promise that He will not allow you to get dignity by seeking it from His creation. Because He's the owner of dignity. And if you don't seek it from Him, you can't get it. This is why we are in this condition. We began to get in this degraded state and our fall began when we started to become trying to be pleasing to people. Look at your history. I don't care how much of your deen you shave off and sometimes literally shave off or take off or don't do or do. You decide to go to work or just I need this job and I don't want people to think I'm crazy. You know, so I take off the hijab. It's not that serious. Allah knows in my heart. I've even had some sisters tell me I wear my hijab in my heart. Subhanallah. I wonder if you see that on an x-ray. I had some brothers, you know, you know, I, I, I shave my beard because, you know, you don't want to, you can't be running around with a beard these days, man. You look crazy, man. Nobody's going to hire you. When it comes time for the Christmas party at work, yeah, I'm going to go. I didn't drink, you know, but I go. I want to, you know, I... I want to seem normal. It actually, you fool yourself into thinking that you're going to help them. You, they'll see that, you know, Muslims are like everybody else. I don't want to be like them, everybody else. Don't put me in that bucket say you're like everybody else. Because no matter what you do, they'll never respect you. They'll still, they may say, that person's okay. I'm still a Muslim. Still Muslim. Still an Arab. Still one of those crazy people. How do I know this? You're saying, you say, yeah, you being extreme in your ideologies, man. This is a promise of Allah. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that they will never be pleased with you until you become like them. They will never be pleased with you till you become one of them. Until you leave your deen completely and become one of them. Or you shave off so much of your deen that Allah does not even recognize you anymore as a Muslim. Then they might like you. You can call yourself a Muslim all you want.